Hi everyone, so I'm going to do the June favorites or June products video for you guys. Um, I actually filmed one yesterday, but there's a few things that I forgot, so I'm refilming it. I kind of have a little bit of a cough, like an upper respiratory thing is what my doctor said. So he gave me some cough syrup, and it's actually like freaking codeine cough syrup, which I realize is like, isn't that perp? Like, you know, like the rappers do. Um, so I took some like... 45 minutes ago and it's supposed to make you drowsy, but I actually feel really really productive now So I'm refilming this anyway I have a lot of things to talk about so I'm just gonna go ahead and jump right into it We'll start with things that have continued and um, have carried over from last month that I really really like um, I forgot how much I love the smell of Mac fix plus simply that's all that there is to it It's kind of a nostalgic scent for me because when I first started getting into makeup years ago, so that scent reminds me of starting out with makeup, so that's good, but this is just a really nice kind of spray toner that just has glycerin, aloe, cucumber, things like that. It's not a bad product, but um, it's not, don't expect it to leap boundaries in terms of what it can do for your skin. Um, Laneige uh, Bright Renew Original Serum, continuing to use this, use this. Ugh, tongue tied. Uh, I really, 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 really like this. I definitely would recommend everyone checking this out. Like, go to your local Target, give this one a shot. 45 bucks, not bad for a good serum considering you get a lot of product. And it is a nice light lotion. It's not kind of like a silicone serum. So it doesn't leave like a silicone film smoothness on your skin, which I personally am not a huge, huge fan of. I prefer lotiony serums or very fluid, liquidy serums. So absorbs quickly, leaves a beautiful, fresh, kind of slightly shiseido-ish scent. Um, and I do notice that it smooths out my skin quite nicely. I don't know a difference in brightness, but I do really, really like it a lot. Um, oh, Max Strobe Cream. I'm a big, big fan of this. This looks beautiful on the skin. I don't think this makes you look greasy by any stretch of the imagination. There's some mascara left in my eye. Um, simply leaves a beautiful radiant finish to the skin and the amount of, you know, antioxidants and good skincare benefits in this product is pretty wonderful considering the price and considering that this is pretty readily available for um, anyone who has access to a Mac counter, Mac store, or Mac online. So that's kind of what it looks like. It has a nice pearl to it. Normally you guys know I don't like a pinky pearl, but this doesn't stay pink. It absorbs into the skin and just gives a freshness, a fresh radiant appearance, not a greasy appearance. So as you can see, Radiance. Radiance, radiance, radiance. Um, I love using this on the outer perimeter of my face for some brightness during the day and also at night for benefits of skincare. So let's see what else is carried over. This I actually bought last month, I think, but I'm actually really into it. The Revlon Photo Ready Skin Lights in Beach Bronze from their summer collection. This does have quite a bit of orange to it. I actually don't mind that. I think it, it works on my skin, I think. And so you can see how kind of orangey that is. But I think it looks beautiful. There's really no shimmer to it. It just gives kind of a fresh, radiant bronze look to the skin. Um, so I really like to put that on on top of liquid foundation. It's an annoyance that kind of hasn't carried over, but I've had to deal with it. Uh, the Laura Mercier Secret Camouflage, the SC4 is a shade that I have. Could use SC3 as well, but... Um, I need like actually a combination of SC3 and SC4. But my um, mine broke. When you closed it, this little flap got stuck inside so it wouldn't close properly and therefore it would dry out. So I just exchanged it at Sephora for one that um, works. But um, I have heard since Laura Mercier was purchased by a company, I don't know who the company is, um, there's been a lot of packaging issues. Uh, so, yeah, if you experience issues like this, just know you're not alone, but definitely wherever you bought it, take it back, get a get one that is, you know, closes properly or, you know, that doesn't have the cap that keeps falling off because that's completely ridiculous for the price that this is. This should not be happening. Um, luckily, Sephora has a good exchange return policy. Oh, this which I purchased, I think, in May, but I've been really liking, um, the Shiseido Sheer and Perfect Foundation. Quite a little bottle, of course. Very fluid. SPF 18, I have the shade 040. 
This is quite nice. It kind of sits in between Ch uh, Chanel Vita Lumiere Aqua and I'd say Estee Lauder Invisible Fluid. You know, I don't necessarily like the Estee Lauder as much as I like either the Chanel or this, um, but I do like this more than Estee Lauder for sure, but not as much as Chanel. All right, I think that is it for things that have carried over. Um, I'll just go ahead and mention this because this was sent to me. Um, sent to me, no, um, when we had uh, Chanel school, Chanel training, we were allowed to order gratis. Um, we could order cleanser, toner, and moisturizer. I ordered a La Lift and gave it to my mother. Um, but I got a Le Comfort and Lotion Comfort for myself because I'm a big fan of both of these. Um, the Le Comfort is beautiful, kind of turns into a nice oil, and it doesn't emulsify. Um, it doesn't have any detergents in it. Rinses clean. And the Lotion Comfort is alcohol-free, and it just smells killer. Like, I love the scent of this. Um, not that this does very much for your skin. Um, and it's in a normal size bottle, but it just kind of looks huge, doesn't it? It looks kind of huge. But I love this. I love the fragrance of it. It leaves your skin feeling silky smooth um, without any residue or any tacky filminess or anything. Wonderful. So definitely give these a shot if you're at a Chanel counter. Um, they should be taking your makeup off with this, so give that one a shot. Um, also, I did purchase this because this is not sold in Macy's. This is only sold through Chanel's website or Neiman Marcus slash Nordstrom, I think. One of the specialty stores. And it's the Eau de Cire. It is a cleansing water. So um, the Comfort line is um, for drier skins. De Cire line is for combination and then Purite is for oilier skins. Um, this doesn't have any alcohol in it. It is just a nice basically liquid water, cleansing water. Um, this is what I use to cleanse in the morning um, if I'm not using Bioderma or just a refreshing toner in the morning um, because it gets everything off that needs to come off, but doesn't require you actually going to the sink and cleansing your skin. So I really, really like this. 45 bucks, I don't know that I would have to spend that much to repurchase it, but I really would repurchase this, you guys. I really would. Sure, there's similar ones out there, but I just like that one. I did purchase this as well uh, recently, the Borghese, Borghese, Borghese? Clarify Skin Balancing Toner. Apparently this used to be sold in like Saks um, and I paid $14 for it at Target since they revamped their beauty section. And what really caught me was the, it's water, glycerin, a peptide is the third ingredient, resveratrol is the, th the fourth, there is a, some sort of extract, kind of looks like a fruit extract, then hyaluronic acid, then grapeseed oil, then soybean oil, collagen, hydrolyzed collagen, and fragrance is at the very, very end. So I was very surprised to find something like this. Um, it comes in a spray, which is a bit of an annoyance. I prefer toners that I can put on a cotton pad. Uh, you get 8.4 ounces, which is quite a bit of product, and it's not that expensive for a good toner like this. So definitely worth checking out if you go to Target. Um, along with that Target trip, I purchased the Maybelline Dream Wonder Fluid Touch Foundation. Really was wanting to try this. Um, the shade range sucks, as with most drugstore foundations. Everything was way too pink. They did have quite a bit of darker shades, though, so if you are more tan or you do have, you know, black skin, I don't want to say black, but, you know, if you have darker skin, let's just say that. This is basically like Armani Maestro. Um, I haven't tried this yet. I will do a first impressions on this, but I know the shade's going to be too dark, but it's the only one that I could find that had a yellow undertone um, because all of them were pink. The lighter one than this was neutral, and I couldn't work with that. Speaking of Armani Maestro, I did exchange my Maestro for a shade 4.5. I had 5.25, again, just too dark, and this is actually a bit light for me, but I can add bronzer. I'm going to try mixing these one day as well because I think that'll give me almost the perfect color but I love the way that this looks on the skin. This is completely smoothing and completely, completely beautiful. If you can find your shade, give it a shot. I, I'm a big, big fan of this. Another complexion product, Chanel Le Beige Fluid. Um, Fluid, I have number 20. I did a review on this, so I'm not gonna go into too much detail and I will be uploading that. Um, no, just watch the review. You'll have to watch the review to find, to find out what I think. 
product I'm a big fan of, but I don't know if I hear that much hype about it anymore because it's been around for so long and I think people kind of forgot about it. But Le Blanc de Chanel. This is kind of, they say sheer illuminating base, but you can use this as a primer, as a highlighter mixed in with your foundation to lighten it up a little bit or to add some glow to it. This just kind of is a multi-use product that looks beautiful on the skin, uh, especially if you have fair skin as a nice highlight. It is a nice highlight without being shimmery, so big plus for that. I purchased this, the Maybelline Dream Lumi Touch Highlighting Concealer in the shade Nude, because I had one that I gave to my friend, and I missed it, so I rebought it, repurchased it. So now I have two shades in my train case right behind me, and this shade again for me to use, so I've bought like five of these probably in my life so far, and um, I really, really like this. Um, I'm going to try to get my mom onto this as well. Isilix from Indie Laboratories. I don't know why. No, I do know why. I was going to do a test to see if if it worked. I did it on one side for two weeks, day and night. I didn't see that much of a difference. Um, but I suppose it's good to continue to use an eye cream. There's a lot of peptides in here, but there's also some alcohol. So I have to be careful, but um, yeah, it's worth checking out. And I know that this is a pretty big deal in the UK. So uh, it's like $22 or so worth checking out. I bought the Chanel eyelash curler I gave in because we only got five of them and that was complete, completely by accident I think. Um, this I think is limited edition and you can really only get it from Chanel's website. Maybe specialty stores but tell me it just doesn't look amazing. I kind of just want to have two eyelash curlers. The NARS one which I love but feels like it's getting kind of flimsy and the Chanel one just to kind of alternate because why not. Um, very, very well made. This gives a really firm clamp. The NARS one's getting kind of flimsy. Um, and it comes with two replacement pads. So that's always good. Um, Macron lipsticks from, as I dropped them, from NYX. I flipped out when I saw these. Died, had to get some of them. So I got the Black Sesame, which is the gray. Um, what is this? Earl Grey, which is a nice um, pastel blue. Uh, was Key Lime, nice kind of vibrant green, and Blue Velvet, which is a beautiful blue, classic blue. Um, out of all of them, the, um, well, they don't stay twisted up. Watch. See? Which is annoying, but the blue, um, Blue Velvet is a really good formula. I think the weakest, unfortunately, is the green, but the other, even the pastel blue actually goes on quite well, surprisingly, so those are good. Um, I didn't get the yellow one because I have a lip tar that's yellow and I didn't, you know, whatever, so um, those, excited about those. Um, I did buy both mineralized skin finishes from the Osborne collection because they're super cute, which is not a reason to buy things, but um, I can get a discount at work, so figured what the hey. Um, the Kelly Osborne one is called Jolly Good. Beautiful, cute, Dame Edna looking packaging, right? Anyone remember that? Um, very cute. I have the plastic on it, but it's kind of a nice, lighter, soft color that would be nice just to kind of give a nice highlight to the cheeks, or if you were fair, to use it as a bronzer or just to, a warming powder. Sharon Osborne is called Refresh, and this is more of a bronzy kind of tone, so I think this one I'll probably get more use out of. Um, we'll see. I haven't tried either of them yet, but super cute. I like the Sharon Osborne packaging better, because I don't like this kind of frosty matte lavender. I like a glossy lacquered red better. Bought some brushes from drugstore.com. The number seven brushes, which I'm super excited about, and they're really nice so far, the ones that I've used. Um, we have the foundation brush, the concealer brush. Handles are too short for my liking, but whatever. Very nice, very dense. Then the eye brushes I got were the eyeshadow blend and contour. Very similar to a MAC 217. Very similar. Uh, mine's already stained from I used it earlier. It's stained already, I think. The Precision Eyeliner, which is amazing because it's super thin. And I like these kind of eyeliner brushes better than the long, kind of skinny paintbrush looking ones. I'm not a big fan of those kind of eyeliner brushes, personally. Uh, and then the eye color brush, which is a nice, I think it's synthetic, um, good for packing color on the lids. So I'm impressed by these because they were buy two, get one free on drugstore.com, so I did. 
took advantage of that. Also got this brush, the Kala Concealer 113 on clearance from drugstore.com. Literally this came in a velvet pouch in a box. Like it was very, very Chanel-ish. And this is very much like the Chanel concealer brush. I get what they were trying to do. But I got it on clearance for $5. Amazing quality actually for um, the price that I paid. And I would be interested in getting more of these because they feel really, really well made. And the handle's long. Yay. Um, the Up and Up Foundation Brush. This is what it used to look like. I loved this. I have two of these. This is the new one. Same handle length. Bristles are a little different. A little bit more dense. Longer. But I love this. Inexpensive. I think I'm going to have to get more of these. Um, I don't like the way they look. I think they look kind of cheap. But the quality is all there. And this blusher brush. Oh my god. I was looking for something similar to the Suku cheek brush because I like kind of that idea of a looser, small, fluffy brush for bronzer or blush or whatever, or powder. This is really, really nice. Really nice. Very loose, as you can see. It doesn't have a lot of density to it. Very soft. Synthetic, I think. Um, and like $4. So super worth checking out um, if you want something kind of small that flares out and is kind of like a Suku cheek brush, kind of. Not, I'm, that's a stretch, but similar-ish. Um, Chanel is relaunching their eyeshadows, so um, they were kind enough to give us all one at the counter to try. Um, they look kind of like the old eyeshadows, or if you live in Europe, I think they're like this. They're baked. The quality is all there. They are not frosty. They kind of are luminous and beautiful, and um, very, very smooth. So, um, which is nice because I'm not a huge fan of our eyeshadows right now. Um, and these I think will be launching either in mid-June or early August. So be looking out for those, or excuse me, mid-July or late or early August. At the Armani counter, I gave in and bought Armani Privé Rose d'Arabie. I'm always saying that wrong. Um, and it is engraved with my name. So very fortunate to have this. Um, cost me an absolute fucking fortune. And I did a separate video on this talking about it, but... Um, this is going to be, I know this is just going to be extremely, extremely, I feel like I'm going to hold this very near and dear to my heart. This already is giving me a lot of memories, um, interestingly enough. I don't know why I smell it and I have these memories that I've never associated with this fragrance before, but. And last but not least, um, I can get a discount at Bloomingdale's with my Macy's card, so. Uh, my first Tom Ford product. I lost my Tom Ford virginity and I figured I'd go with their like pinnacle product I think besides the lipsticks I think this is the one of the pinnacle products because it's very uncommon to see a product like this in any other brand especially not a luxury designer brand um, but I got the shade in Illuminate Intensity 1 so can we just talk about it and then we can, can we talk about this like snuggy material pouch uh, magnetic closure the MAC um, Coffee Walnut Contour Cream is nice and I really like it, but I find it to be occasionally too gray for my skin. So this is a nice creamy contour and highlight that I have not used yet, but I'm really looking forward to using. Um, and I just think this is so such a beautifully done product. Packaging and all, um, I have to give it to Tom Ford for just really creating a range that is cohesive and feels luxurious. You know, feels like it's a luxury product because, again, it costs an absolute fortune. But, um, yeah, so I will update you guys on how I like that. But uh, everything about this just is beautifully done. Um, we'll just have to see if the product is beautifully done and is exactly what I was hoping it would be. Uh, so, there's that. And that completes my long ass video for June. Lots of exciting things. Um, lots of exciting things. So uh, if you guys want to see any reviews on any of these things or you want me to do go into more detail, please let me know and I'd be happy to do so. And uh, thank you guys for watching. Um, yeah, I'm going to talk to all you guys real soon. Bye.